guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with another Amazon unboxing. We've got this big box that came in. So let's see what's inside it. I'll just grab it, cover my address if I can. I'm super excited. I don't want to break what's inside. So, ah, uh, hey. No. I'm stronger at pulling than I am at pushing. Like, if I can pull it, something toward me, I'm stronger than if I have to push it away. Weird. All right. So, we have this. And it's been very nicely um, packaged. So, we've got a few things in here. We have this that I'm going to put aside for now. And we have this. So just very quickly, I'm going to throw the box on the floor with all the other empty boxes and just very, very quickly show you these. This is not part of what I wanted to show you, but I will show you because I got these on sale for half price. I got two sets of Crayola crayons for the littles in my life. I have, um, my cousin is unexpectedly coming into town and she's bringing her boyfriend and her boyfriend's a little boy and he's five years old. And, um, my other cousin is coming with her granddaughter and I think she's four years old or three years old. So I got them each some coloring books and I got them each a set of crayons and, uh, they each got two coloring books. One is Paw Patrol and the other one had little press princesses and I think one of them came with a set of little markers and the other came with a set of watercolors. So the parents will love me for that, right? So yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to quickly put that away here. I'm not going to open these up because they're a gift. But these are all the colors. Um, and if you're interested, I got those from, from the Crayola store and... I think they well right now today when I'm recording this they're five ninety nine, uh they're regular nine twenty nine, so yeah and I think there's a built in a sharpener it says sharpener included, so I don't know if they oh here here's the built in sharpener right here, so if you have any kids or if you yourself like I don't mind coloring with with uh, crayons I enjoy them, so anyway so five ninety nine for a set of ninety I thought that'd be nice, I think that's what I paid. Yeah, that's exactly what I paid. All right. So, but that's not what I wanted to show you. This is what I wanted to show you. So you guys know I'm really into art. I really love art. I don't know how good these are going to be. We will we will do a testing video in another one. This is strictly unboxing. This is Mazrak, C-E-U-K-C-A. But what it is is 120-piece alcohol marker set. And um, really good price. For alcohol markers, now I know I just recently ordered a set of alcohol markers, but mine had the chisel tips and the fine point tips, and I wanted the uh, brush tip. So these are the brush tip, and they are 121 colors with case and skin tones and a blender. So this is from the Moss Rack store, just like what you see here, Moss Rack on Amazon.ca. And right now today they are on sale for $39.99. No, $39.59, and they are regular $41.99, so really good price. It had some good ratings. There's 236 ratings, and uh, they had a lot of really good high ratings. Um, 69% gave them 5 star, 16% gave them 4 star, 10% gave them 3 star, and only 2% gave them 2 star, and 3% gave them 1 star. And the worst thing, um, one person said one or two of their markers came dry, but a lot of people said no markers came dry. And they had some um, examples of some of the art they did with it, which was pretty impressive. So, of course, I'm not an artist. Mine won't be that impressive. But I love art supplies, and I finally now have my table all set up. I ordered a lamp because the room I want to do my art in had no big overhead light. It just had two side lights on the wall, and they were very dim. So I ordered a lamp for my my table. I ordered a special tablecloth and taped it onto the table. And last night I used my craft table in the art room for the first time. And I did some painting. And it was awesome. So now I have a place where I can do everything, which is great. 
So um, I just want to look at my order details quickly. Yeah, I paid $35.59. So the price I paid is still the sale price. All right, so I'm very excited to open these up. Let's just tilt the camera down a little bit. I, I'm all covered up in blankies because I, I haven't been feeling great. I, I had trouble breathing last night and my allergies and asthma were acting up. I've got a bit of a sore throat and my eyes are all watery. So, and I was fine during the day yesterday, so it didn't hit me till I was trying to sleep. Oh, you guys, look at how many. So this is the blender. I'm assuming this is the blender. So let's take a look. This is the broad tip. Wait, what? Broad tip and fine tip. These are supposed to be. Oh, come on. Don't tell me there's more. They ripped me off. Did I read it wrong? So this is what they're calling a brush tip. Having never used anything with a brush tip, I can't tell you if that's a true brush tip. Let me just put that down for a minute and let's look at all these colors, okay? So I really like this is a nice carrying case and it seems like they're in something at the bottom here. Yeah, um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little two cases down here and they have little squares for them to fit in. And let's take a look at what we have here. So they gave me a little swatch kit to swatch the markers, which is really nice. Coloring method. Flat coating. Use the art marker to smooth and quickly move as much as possible without overlapping the brush sto strokes to produce a flat coating effect. Halo. Use similar color or number zero marker paint pen to color flat. Okay, so these are all different instructions. I'm not going to go through them all. Attention, marker pen is alcoholic. Please cover the pen in time after use. If the ink on one dual tip is not enough, please use the pen upside down for half an hour before using it. Okay, so turn it around. So that makes sense. So all the tips on the top, they might need to be turned upside down to let, let the ink flow. So that, that makes sense, you guys. But look at these colors. These are amazing. So let's look at one that does have color. Let's look at this one. And here is the one tip. Um, I don't want to... I don't even think this is really marker paper, is it? So yeah, there's two sets of this. So I don't want to draw on that. Let me just quickly grab some paper and we can see what this looks like. I um Okay guys, I am back. I'm sorry it took me that long. I was just looking for my marker paper. I am I've only done one thing in my marker book, and that was this that I did with my BN new markers. So I'll just put those here, my little set. And I, that was my first time ever using alcohol markers, and I did this poppy following a tutorial, and then not following the tutorial because I found it easier just to look at the actual picture and just draw in color. So I was really happy with that, how that turned out, and um, they did bleed through a little bit, even on the marker paper, but that's okay because this paper comes with this. So um, I think what I want to do is just put this page underneath the next page in the book. And I just want to quickly, I know this is an unboxing, but I just do want to see what the tips look like and show you. So this is supposed to be the brush tip, okay? So, that's the brush tip, and you can do some small lines with it. You can do some thicker lines. Keep in mind, I know nothing about this. So, that is the brush tip, and this is the chisel tip. So the chisel tip still does have a small end. So let's see if I can write my name with the small end. 
So this is a firmer, this is much firmer. This brush tip does feel like a brush. It feels very soft and flowy. And this feels more like a regular marker, like harder. So with this, I can do some thin lines and then I can do some thicker lines and I can do some really thick lines. All right, so that is the Mosrock, and, and that's a very nice color. And now these were the other set that I have. These are the Bianu. I just want to check the tip because they said that's a brush tip. And let's just grab a similar color. Um, so the difference in these alcohol markers is there's much fewer colors here. I forget how many colors are in here, but there's a lot more here. And um, they look very different. These have a white body. These have a black body. These have the name and number on them. These just have the number on the ends. And in the middle, it has the name, the branding, and it tells you what this one tells you which end is fine in words and which end is broad in words and in pictures. And this just shows you the picture and not the words. So they both look very nice. They're both about the same. I think these are a little bit thinner on top and on the bottom. But it just could, could be because they're square. I don't know. But let's take a look at these tips. So this is the fine point tip, like the nib. Yeah, it's very different than the fine on this end. I was just worried because it said fine. So this is soft like a brush and this is hard like a regular marker so these are the brush tips I was worried that because I read sometimes the cheaper brands will call it brush tip and it's not really a brush tip so I got worried but these are brush tips so here is the fine tip on this brand and that's just like a regular fine tip marker but beautiful color and I'm not noticing any noticeable smell with either of them. And I'm just only getting a small tip. Whereas this, I'm getting a thicker tip, but I can do thin or thick. And this gives a crisper, clearer um, image. But it just could be that I'm not used to writing with that. And the color is slightly different, too. And now here's this tip over here. Yeah, it's a totally different color, but. So I did get the brush tip markers. That's really great. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like the brush tip marker better than the fine tip. Like the fine tip will be great for um, like lettering and stuff and small detail. But I just for the prices for both of these, I'm getting to test out both kinds and I'll get to see what I like. These ones here, they don't have any slot to hold them in they're kind of just loose in there I do like that these have little containers I don't know if I can bring a container out to show you can you see down there there's a container holding them I do like that a lot and uh, when I opened these I forgot to show you that they did also they gave me um, this and I did color them in and I don't know if I did this on the channel or not So now I have all the colors I could ever hope to have, and I'm going to have to learn how to use markers. Um, so markers, watercolor, acrylics, diamond painting, and crochet is what I want to focus on this year, and procreate. And I don't want to get into anything else other than that. I don't want anything new. But I was really happy with my very first try, and that's with the Bianu. So yeah, this is the Bianu. And this is the Mosrak, and I, I really like the colors. So I'm really, really happy with this. Let me just put this away. So if you want a big set of markers, because um, usually 
the brush tips are much more expensive than the chisel tip with the other one. And here's the, um, I'm just going to put it here if I can. This is the blender. But yeah, usually these cost a lot of money. I was really surprised that I was able to get this for $39.99 for 121 markers, including this. That is a fantastic price. Now, if they all work as good as the first one, that's good. We'll test them out in another video. So we've got the Crayola and the markers, and I'm really happy with that. I think that's great. So let me know if you've tried these or if you'd be interested in trying them. Um, I want to do my own cards. I basically want to try making my own cards from now on. So I think that'll be fun. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It really means the world to me. I love reading your comments. So please do comment. I love getting to know you. Let me know what you're doing. What do you like doing? Do you like diamond painting? Do you crochet? Do you knit? Uh, do you do plastic canvas? Do you do adult coloring? Do you sketch? Do you paint? Are, are you interested in learning new things like me? Like I'm crazy about wanting to always learn new things, which is good in some ways, but is bad in other ways because I'll just move on to the next thing without getting really good at one thing. So, but that's just me. I really like trying, and I always do go back. Like, I never just let it drop forever. I always do go back to the things I used to be interested in. It just, it goes into waves, you know? And sometimes I think I'm going to really like something because I'm really interested in watching other people do it on YouTube. And I think, yeah, I'll really like that. And then when I try it, no, I really don't like it. So I've been really lucky that so far I love diamond painting. I love crocheting. I love drawing. I love sketching. I love procreate. And I know I love watercolor. And just from what I've briefly done last night with acrylics, I am loving that too. So I'm so happy. And of course, I love Procreate very, very much. And I think Procreate, painting on Procreate for the past year, year and a half, has given me the confidence to come back to hands-on art. Because normally I'm like, oh, that's too expensive. I can't do that. And I know an Apple iPad is very expensive. But my theory was, well, you don't have to buy any supplies. They're all right there. But I've been enjoying it so much, I did want to get my hands onto some real colors. It just, um, it releases endorphins in my brains when I look at pretty colors and when I create. And even if I'm not that good, I mean, obviously, you guys, I'm not that good. But I don't care because I'm not competing against anyone. I'm not even competing against myself. I, I, I hope I get better, but if I don't, that's fine. If I stay the same, that's fine because... I'm enjoying the process so much. It just is so relaxing and therapeutic. Anyway, so let me know what you think. All right, take care. Stay safe. I don't know when this video is going out, if it's going out before Christmas or, or after Christmas or before New Year's or after New Year's. But happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Winter, and most importantly, happy crafting. And stay safe and take care. Bye for now.